the formidable robot. If you watched certain episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants, there's going to be some weird close-up shots of either a character or a Krabby Patty. Though some of them are kinda cheesy, I have seen ones that are so awful they'll make you want to look away. Let me explain. I was an animator who worked on SpongeBob SquarePants. However, my job was harder than other animators on the team since I had to work on excessively detailed scenes, specifically the close-ups. Basically, I would get concepts for the close-ups before drawing them, and for the first one I drew, it was actually not that hard to do. All I had to do was draw Squidward with an angry expression and then call it a day. However, the concepts for close-ups I got after that were harder and more disturbing since they had more details. For example, the nasty patty. I had to draw the eyeball sesame seeds, the green insides, you name it. Eventually when I worked on to love a patty, I had to do two close-up shots of a rotten crabby patty, each of them having a worm infestation, holes in the top bun that could trigger people with trypophobia, and the patty itself looking like literal dog shit. It made me want to vomit, but to be honest, what I had to work on after this guaranteed that I did. If two close-ups weren't bad enough, an executive on the team actually decided to make an episode filled with them, since they just love the hideous close-up trope. I really didn't want to work on it, I really didn't, but I had a high-paying job on my hands, so I had no choice. I don't remember much about the episode since I was too focused on getting the close-ups done and over with, but I do remember the premise of it having the characters in uncomfortable situations, which probably explains why the episode had close-ups to begin with. However, there were so many close-ups I had to work on that I lost count of how many I had to do, but if I had to guess, I'd say about 2-3 to three close-ups per scene, but the biggest problem I had with the production of the episode was the concepts for close-ups I was getting. These concepts were more disturbing than the close-ups you would see in an average Spongebob episode, but somehow worse than the two Lava Patty close-ups. These would range from Spongebob having some darkened liquid ooze out of his holes while having swollen eyes with distorted pupils, to a Krabby Patty that looked like it was made of human flesh along with having body parts fused into it. After I finished the last close-up, I vomited a lot as if I had eaten a lot of junk food. I'm just glad that I got it done and over with, but to this day, I still don't get why the original concept of a disgusting close-up became a thing. All I can say for sure is that it has become one of those things that'll make you lose your appetite. <laughs>